Wednesday, September 5th, 2018. Dear Jacrispy, I honestly don't know how I'm going to tell the whole school how amazing you are. Whether it was on the playground in lower school or teaming up against Abby, you have always been by my side and me by yours. But it's time for me to face reality and the fact that we will most likely not be together next year. Not that you even really care as much as I do. <laughs> I'm going to miss having our room connected by sliding doors that you hate when I open because I bother you all the time. I'm going to miss when we annoy people, when we laugh at things we tell each other that we too can only understand. And I will miss my best friend. I honestly might not be able to function by myself next year because having you by my side is all I've ever known my entire life. But we'll see if I survive. I'm not so worried about you. I'll miss your OCD, your ability to read my mind. I'll even miss your sarcastic attitude that I could care less about at times, or your ability to do nothing yet everything at the same time while I'm over here stressing about everything. Your confidence to do anything and say whatever comes to your mind makes me mad. But I love you anyways. And even though you might think you're not as awesome as your twin sister, you might be a little more awesome today. Only today. <laughs> I know you're going to say something amazing, so do what you do best. I love you so, so much, Sissy Poo. XOXO, your favorite sister, your bestie, and your main squeeze, Bequisha. If you couldn't tell already, I'm a twin. <laughs> a twin can only be described one way. Someone you absolutely can't stand but can't live without. That describes mine and Becca's relationship perfectly. However, from the moment we were born, Becca and I were inseparable. We are those twins who wore matching outfits, shared a stroller, occasionally watched Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen on Full House, sometimes say things at the exact same time, and yes, we did switch places to confuse our lower school teachers. Some tips to help you tell us apart. We are fraternal, not identical. I'm taller by one inch. Her hair is a little darker. My face is shaped more like an oval. She's a minute older. And as much as I hate to admit it, my voice is a little deeper. These may seem like random facts, but these make up my usual responses to questions I get asked on a daily basis. Don't get me wrong, it's a little frustrating at times to hear the same questions asked over and over again. But I enjoy these conversations. I appreciate that someone is taking the time to understand and is interested in what it's like to be a twin. Twins are fascinating. Only 3.3% of the population is born a twin, so I get it. But it's not really the questions, it's the repetition itself. After 17 years, my sister and I can predict what will be asked. We even know to stand side by side so people can stare at our faces, which is super weird and sometimes uncomfortable, <laughs> But it makes it easier for people to compare and contrast. We're used to it. On one hand, sharing the same qualities like age, appearance, and interests has had its advantages. Even though I may not show it most of the time, I'm grateful that I'm a twin. You have your built-in best friend always by your side, someone in the next room going through the exact same thing at the exact same time as you. A twin is the first and unwavering source of support and advice because she understands you like no one else. I have been a twin my whole life, and because of that, it's become a huge part of my identity. But it becomes difficult to develop your own identity when you're considered a half of a whole. If you ask anyone that knows us, Becca and I have very different personalities, but we do the same activities, have the same friends, and have had the exact same school schedule for the past two years. Because we are always together, most people have even grouped us as the Schutzberg twins. I know I have even developed a tendency to overlook the pronoun I and use the collective we. So it's a little more challenging to set yourself apart than you'd think. We have both made small efforts to establish separate identities, especially me. I have rushed back upstairs on multiple occasions to change an outfit so people wouldn't assume we had made an effort to match. I have put myself on the other end of a group picture so people wouldn't associate us together. And I've even left the house on multiple occasions without telling her where I'm going so she couldn't follow me. <laughs> but most recently, Becca and I made a pact. 
When the time came to apply to college, we would not talk about test scores, where we were applying, where we want to go, and everything else included in the process. For me, this process was something I wanted to do on my own, individually and independently. I didn't want the fact that we've been together our whole lives and the fact that we've done everything together to influence my decision about my own future. We all depend on other people throughout the course of our lives, whether it's depending on a parent to teach you basic life skills, like riding a bike or reading, depending on a fellow classmate to do her part during a group project, or depending on a friend to be there when you just need to talk. And I'm not saying that it's not okay to depend on others in certain situations, because being able to depend on others means being able to trust and build strong relationships, which is why my bond with my sister is the way it is. Asking for help and being able to trust in others is a good thing, but it becomes an issue when you rely too much on another person. When you depend too much on others, you limit your ability to be a thoughtful, independent individual growing to your full potential. You won't always have that best friend by your side through all your life challenges and struggles to help and support you. When you make a huge decision for yourself, like where you will go to college, it's empowering knowing that you have the power, ability, and are in control of your own life and your own choices. As we get older, we need to learn how to make our own opinions and voices show in our own life story. Because in the end, my journey is my own, just like yours is your own. We are all our own unique individuals. So become empowered to be an individual and find the power and desire to set yourself apart. Thank you.